स्टैंड नंबर खड़े हो जाएंगे और
you are our shepherd. You are always there with us. You are always there, Father. Throughout the week, whatever God we have been through. Yes. But when we come to you, you lift us. You give us that encouragement. So we continue to worship you. We pray this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Do लिखा है प्रभु 
यहोवा मेरा बल है और मेरा गढ़ है मैं उस पर भरोसा रखूंगा मेरे मेरा दिल उसमें आनंदित होता है और मैं गीत गाकर उसका धन्यवाद करूंगा आइए हम इस वचन को मनन कर रहे हैं प्रभु आप हमारे बल हो प्रभु आप पर हमें भरोसा आए प्रभु हम आपके नाम से आनंदित होते प्रभु दिल से आनंदित होते प्रभु हम ये गीत गाकर आपको धन्यवाद देते हैं प्रभु वापस हम इस वचन को बोलेंगे अपने मन में प्रभु यहोवा मेरा बल और गढ़ है मैं उस पर भरोसा रखूंगा मेरा दिल उसमें आनंदित होता है और मैं गीत गाकर उसका धन्यवाद करूंगा Just as I am without one of the cross god thank you lord that we can fly like an eagle high above god high above this world high above the circumstances high above the details lord and we can live that life above god because of the cross lord now we have the law of spirit and life lord and today the flesh and sin no longer has dominion over us lord we thank you lord for the cross lord We thank you for the difference it has made in our life, God. And we can come with our brokenness, 
we can come with our emptiness, Lord, and we find healing, we find refreshment, and we are made permanent in your presence, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for us. Thank you, Lord, for grace, Lord. Thank you for mercy, Lord. We never want to take this for granted, Lord. We always want to be grateful, Lord, for the work of the cross and for grace, for your love and your mercy in our life. We thank you. Lord, we pray, Lord, as we continue with the service, Lord, that you will anoint our ears, Lord, to listen, Lord, what you want to speak to us in that still small voice this morning. In Jesus' name. is a wonderful, by the way, great worship. Can you give God a hand? Okay. And uh, how are you all doing good? Yes. Some of you are just like, all set to rainy, rainy day, isn't it? Uh, thanks for coming to church in the midst of the rain. Can you give yourself a big hand? You know what, when you come to church in a rainy day, you're saying, God, you matter more for me than anything else. Okay, Karen, where is my translator? <laughs> No. Okay, this, this is a good thing. A lot of Hindi people are there. Okay, I said, uh, when you come to church on a rainy day, you're saying, God matters to me, then all the things. The body story or the way of church are there. So, I'm permission to say, you're not going to be a man. No, how many of you don't go to work when it rains? And the body story is not going to be a man. Come on, raise your hands. You don't have a word. You don't go anywhere in a sense. No? But it's amazing, like people like you know, thank God for those hands because for them Christ matters. Sometimes it's it, it amazes me a, a little rain gives an excuse for not coming to church. Okay, can I say this what, what Dorothy and James were saying this morning is like James said, like, I want to be there. Like, last night, they drove all the way to be here to church this morning. It's such an encouraging, all the way from Kurla. You know, they could have been there and just attended in another place, but it's joy. Like, people take those decisions because they love God. Okay, thank you for coming. Okay, you know what? We honor God. That's our life. Okay, and that's beautiful. When we come to God, God says, You draw near to me, I will draw near to you. I will do great things for you. Okay, so just uh, quickly, okay, today's communion, we'll take a few minutes. Okay, and. Uh, Bible says, do not partake of communion in an unworthy manner. Bible communion it is a sacred moment. Why it is sacred? Because when we partake of communion, we are saying, Lord, we are remembering what Christ has done to us 2000 years back. He shed his blood for us. And we are saying, God, we are thankful and we are remembering that. And then when we eat the bread, we remember the broken body that was put on the cross. And the Bible says, do not take it in an unworthy manner. Like what is unworthy manners? Okay, Bible says if there's sin in your heart. Bible Okay, and I partake of communion, it says it's an unworthy way. Okay, that's the bad news. But the good news is 1 John 1 9. The Bible says, if you ask me forgiveness, that moment you are forgiven. So take few minutes, ask forgiveness. So maybe known sin or unknown sin. And commit it to God. 
परमेश्वर को दे दो और उसे क्षमा मांगो so let's take few minutes and then the ashes will be there to give you the cup and the kuch shani ji aur fir ashes aapko aakar roti aur dakhris denge में जाने के पहले कुछ वचन में पढ़ूंगा आपके लिए जो वचन से ही था और चैप्टर 51 और वचन 10 से बारह है ये अगर आपने वचन से ही पढ़ा होगा तो आपको मालूम होगा कि दाऊद ने जो ये गीत जो ये लिखा है और इसका बैकग्राउंड ये है कि दाऊद ने जब पाप किया जब उसने जब उसको नाथन नबी ने जो है उससे बताया कि उसने बहुत बड़ा पाप किया तो उसने जो है परमेश्वर से क्षमा मांगने के लिए जो है उसने ये वचन से ही लिखा मैं वचन दस से आपके लिए पढ़ूंगा हे परमेश्वर मेरे अंदर शुद्ध मन उत्पन्न कर और मेरे भीतर स्थिर आत्मा नए सिरे से उत्पन्न कर मुझे अपने सामने से निकाल न दे और अपने पवित्र आत्मा को उनसे अलग न कर अपने किए हुए उद्धार का हर्ष मुझे फिर से दे और उद्धार और उदार आत्मा देकर मुझे संभाल यहाँ पर जो है बहुत ही अच्छी जो है प्रार्थना जो है दाऊद ने लिखी है कि उसे जो है परमेश्वर से कह रहा है कि मेरे अंदर जो है शुद्ध मन उत्पन्न कर और एक अच्छा वचन है कि मेरे उद्धार का हर्ष जो है मुझे फिर से दे आज ये हम जो है प्रभु यीशु मसीह के बलिदान के बाद जो है पवित्र आत्मा जो है हम हमारे अंदर है और हमें कभी नहीं छोड़ता और हम पर एक बार जो है हम जब हमारा उद्धार हो जाता है तो परमेश्वर जो है हमें वादा करता है कि वो हमें जो है स्वर्ग में जो है लेके जाएगा तो बहुत ही अच्छा एक प्रार्थना है कि हमें शुद्ध मन हमें परमेश्वर से मांगना है कि वो हमें शुद्ध मन दे और जो है उद्धार का हर जो एक जॉय रहता है जब हमारा उद्धार होता है तो वो हमेशा जो है हमारे अंदर जो है रहना चाहिए तो आइए आज हम खड़े हो जाएंगे और प्रभुज के लिए मैं आपको पहला कुरिंतु ग्यारह और वचन तेईस से मैं पढ़ूंगा क्योंकि यह बात मुझे प्रभु से पहुंची और मैंने तुम्हें भी पहुंचा दी कि प्रभु यशु ने जिस रात को पकड़ाया गया रोटी दी और धन्यवाद करके उसे तोड़ी और कहा यह मेरी देह है और तुम्हारी लिए है मेरे स्मरण के लिए किया करो तो ये जो रोटी वो प्रभु यशु मसीह के जो शरीर को जो है वो दर्शाता है और हम देखते हैं कि उसने जो है उसे जो है मारा गया उसने उसके पेट में भाला मारा कीड़े मारे सिर्फ एक ही चीज के लिए क्योंकि वो जो है हमसे प्रेम करता था और उसने जो है हमें बचाने के लिए जो है उस, उस क्रूस को जो है उसने अपना दिया तो आइए आज हम याद करेंगे प्रभु के समय में कि प्रभु यशु मसीह ने कितना बलिदान जो है हमें दिया है और उसके शरीर जो है हमारे लिए जो दिया गया तो आइए हम रोटी लेंगे इसी रीति से उसने बिहारी के पीछे कटोरा भी लिया और कहा यह कटोरा मेरे लहू में नहीं वाचा है जब कभी पियो तो मेरे स्मरण के लिए यही किया करो कि जब कभी तुम यह रोटी खाते और इस कटोरे में से पीते हो तो प्रभु की मुक्ति को जब तक वह न आए प्रचार करते हो तो ये जो ताकत जो है वो प्रभु ईश्व मसीह का लहू का जो एक चित्र है कि उसने उस उस पर जो है हमारे लिए लहू भाया और एक उसका लहू जो है बहुत कीमती था वो निष्पाप था लेकिन फिर भी उसने जो है हमारे लिए जो है वो पाप उसने अपने ऊपर लिया ताकि हम जो है बचाए जा सके तो आइए हम दाखिल से लिए प्रार्थना करेंगे प्रभु हम धन्यवाद करते हैं उस क्रूस के लिए पिता उस बलिदान के लिए पिता जो आपने हमारे लिए दिया हम धन्यवाद करते हैं कि आपने अपना एक लौता पुत्र दे दिया पिता और आपने हमें उनसे ज्यादा प्रेम किया पिता और उनका बलिदान दिया पिता हम धन्यवाद करते उस हमारे बलिदान के लिए पिता और हम आज याद करते हैं और हम आपके नाम को ऊंचा उठाते पिता धन्यवाद करते प्रार्थना प्रवेश बस के नाम से करते हैं announcements okay we had an amazing week uh, this week bahut acha hafta raha ye okay we it started with ajay's birthday on monday aur ajay ke birthday se shuruaat hui and then we had a beautiful uh, 
time of prayer on Tuesday night. और तीसरे के दिन अच्छा प्रार्थना का समय था. And then on Thursday we had a wonderful outreach in Bandra. और गुरुवार के दिन अच्छा outreach रहा Bandra में. And it was amazing to see the people come and you know many Bibles, many people are distributing Bibles there. And we as a church also were there. It's just amazing. बहुत सारे लोग आए थे और बहुत सारी Bibles parties थी. Okay, thank you for all of you. Okay, we have been praying and we also came. Thank you. Give God a hand for that. Okay. And, uh, and keep coming not only on Bandra. Come to Vasai outreach too. Okay, it's on Thursday. Vasai outreach man. Okay. Thursday. People are willing to go all the way to Bandra. Why not come to Vasai? Okay. On every Thursday we have an outreach in Vasai. And every Gurudwar ko je Vasai mein outreach hai. Okay, so join us. Okay, we meet near the station and from there we go to new locations. On station pe hum milte hain aur wahan se nayi jagah par jaate hain. Okay, and so every Thurs Thursday we have an outreach. Okay, you will get my SMS in the group. Okay, and uh, and also just few important things I want to talk about today. कुछ important जरूरत चीजें जो मैं बताना चाहता हूँ आज. Okay, to how important is to keep. Like we said in our last year, last week's message, prayer as a priority in a believer's life. और प्रार्थना को सही अब जो पहला स्थान देना कितना जरूरी है? How many believe it's important? और कितने लोग ये विश्वास करते हैं? Okay, only few of us. Okay, do you believe that God answers prayers? क्या विश्वास करते हैं कि परमेश्वर प्रार्थना का उत्तर देता है? Okay, draw near to me, I will draw near to you. और परमेश्वर कहता है उसके पास आइए ताकि वो आपके करीब आ सके। ओके, many times you see why God is not working in my life। और कई बार ऐसा होता है कि वो परमेश्वर मेरे जीवन में कार्य नहीं कर रहे। I will the only answer James says draw near to me। और या I will draw near to you। और याकूब यही उत्तर देता है कि जब हम परमेश्वर के करीब जाएंगे। If God comes near to me, what happens? जब परमेश्वर मेरे करीब आएगा तो क्या होगा? Miracles happen. चमत्कार हुए God answers prayers. परमेश्वर प्रार्थना का उत्तर देगा। How many believe is just one Sunday is enough in a week? और कितने लोग ये सोचते कि एक हफ्ता जो एक दिन आना हफ्ते में ठीक है? How many times we eat in a week? और कितने बार हम खाते हैं पूरे हफ्ते में? For our stomachs, isn't it? और अपने पेट के लिए। But what about our soul? लेकिन हमारी आत्मा के बारे में क्या? How much we are feeding our soul with the word of God? कितना हम उसे जो खाना की लारी वर्ड वचन के द्वारा? This church has many opportunities that you can take to join us. और ये चर्च में बहुत सारे मौके हैं जो आप ले सकते हैं। Okay, I'm going to start with start with beginning on Monday. We have a video class. If anybody wants to, we just send you the link. You can hear. और मंडे जो वीडियो क्लास रहता है आपको लिंक भेजी जाएगी और आप सुन सकते हैं। Okay, that's one opportunity. ये एक मौका है। Tuesday I have I teach a class at my home from evening six o'clock till seven thirty and seven thirty to eight thirty we have prayer time. और मंगलवार के दिन पास्टर जो एक क्लास पढ़ाते हैं और उसके बाद प्रार्थना का समय। Another opportunity to hear the word and seek God in prayer. और एक और एक मौका है आपके पास वचन सुनना और परमेश्वर के लिए। On Wednesday from six thirty to eight Eight o'clock we have a prayer and class. और बुधवार के दिन भी क्लास और प्रार्थना रहती है। Okay, you say I'm too far. You can join on Google Meet. All you need to do is click a link. और आप जो Google Meet से जो ही जुड़ सकते हैं। Okay, and today everything is online, isn't it? और सभी चीजें आजकल online हैं। Okay, you go to a baji बेचने वाला, you will say online कर दो सर। But we say I don't know online. और हम कहते हैं हमें नहीं पता online कैसे करते हैं। Okay. We could just come in. That is another opportunity. और ये और एक मौका है। Thursday is another opportunity to join with the body of Christ and win souls. और गुरुवार के दिन भी मौका है कि हम आत्मा जीतने एक साथ जाएं। It's amazing, isn't it? What a church we have. और कितना अच्छा चर्च है। So I encourage you. Okay, now, now this is amazing. Like I want to encourage you, like we did today on Sunday mornings. जैसे सर आज सुबह हमने किया। Okay, it's from 9:45 to 10 o'clock. Okay, or 10:15 or 10:10. A group of us will be praying here. Even as the worship team is practicing, we are going to pray here. On 9:45 से 10:10 तक हम जो एक प्रार्थना करेंगे। Okay, and you want to say, Pastor, I am busy throughout the week. I want to just come on a Sunday and join you in prayer. You are welcome. और अगर आप पूरे हफ्ते जो भी busy रहते हैं, तो Sunday morning आप जल्दी आकर जुड़ सकते हैं। Okay, Sunday morning is a very important day for all of us, isn't it? Every day we get up early, but on Sunday we get much more early. रविवार हम जल्दी उठते हैं। हर हफ्ते में हर दिन हम जल्दी उठते हैं, लेकिन रविवार के दिन और जल्दी उठते हैं। और जल्दी। 
Okay, out jaldi. We get up early because we want to hear one more message of Pastor Shalal before coming to church. Because church aane se pehle hum Pastor Shalal ka message sun kar aate hain. It's amazing. Okay, so we have three prayer nights. Okay, on Wednesday you can come online and join us for prayer. Okay, on Thursday or okay on Tuesday night we have prayer at my home. Okay, and on Sunday morning we have prayer. I I encourage you join. Take one place and say I want to be at prayer. On Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, three of us. If you be, then I'll pack a juice. Don't don't be like a like a person who calls ambulance when something happens to you. और ऐसे इंसान मत बनिए कि जब एम्बुलेंस आए प्रॉब्लम कम्स देन पास्टर प्लीज प्रे फॉर मी चर्च प्रे फॉर मी और फिर आप पासवान के पास आकर कहेंगे कि मेरे लिए प्रार्थना करो ओके टुडे आई आई लाइक सैड लाइक पीपल जस्ट रिमेंबर चर्च व्हेन दे नीड इट और बहुत दुख भरी बात है जब लोगों को जरूरत होती है तो वो चर्च को याद करते हैं अदरवाइज यू डोंट सी देम या तो फिर आप उन्हें देखते ही नहीं बाकी नहीं चर्च इज आवर लाइफ चर्च जो है हमारा जीवन है लाइफ बिकम्स नंबर 1 परमेश्वर मेरे लिए पहला स्थान रखता है ओके सो दैट्स जस्ट अ स्मॉल अनाउंसमेंट सो कि द दिस फैमिली ऑफ द वीक इज यूसुफ ओके तबासुन एंड दैट फैमिली यू कैन रिमेंबर देम इन प्रेयर यूसुफ तबासुन और उनके परिवार ओके दे आर ऑन मिशन इन कश्मीर जस्ट कीप देम इन योर प्रेयर्स ओके एंड आल्सो रिमेंबर फेथ मिशंस प्रॉमिसेस इज ओवर ओके एवरी मंथ स्टार्टिंग टुडे यू कैन गिव योर फेथ मिशंस ओके सितंबर 2 August okay is the date is a year that you commit for faith missions. Uh, September to August tak jo hum faith mission Okay many of you have not still dropped in your faith missions promise please do it okay you could still drop in in your offering basket okay that's good form nahi bhar hai to aaj bhi aap de sakte hain Okay but many people came forward and generously gave for the work of God I thank you for all of them और कई लोगों ने जो दिया है परमेश्वर के काम के लिए मैं उनको धन्यवाद दूंगा सो लेट्स प्रे फॉर द ऑफरिंग लेट्स टेक द ऑफरिंग जेनरसली अगेन ओके जस्ट गिव जेनरसली और परमेश्वर को ध्यान दान जो हम देंगे फादर वी जस्ट थैंक यू वंस अगेन फॉर दिस ब्यूटीफुल डे ब्लेस दिस ऑफरिंग एंड लेट इट गो एंड ब्रिंग ग्लोरी टू योर लॉर्ड इन जीसस नेम वी प्रे अमेन
Ready to hear a good message today? Yes. Okay. How many of you are ready? Let's all stand there. I was thinking as they were singing, what a beautiful song, isn't it? Okay. It's is one of my favorite songs in recent, recent days, no? But uh, I was thinking in heaven would be beautiful, isn't it? So it was in the room. There will be hill song singing and then there's Vasai band singing <laughs> and then there will be Don Moen singing. Or these songs that they were say church guy down or don't and imagine the worship in heaven. Or Suchi Apus uh Aradna. Okay, and uh, it's beautiful, it's going to be awesome, isn't it? Some things will not be repeated in heaven what we do right now. Okay, what is anybody can tell me? Yes. Bread Okay, bread and wine, okay, there'll be no communion in heaven. Okay, yeah. Offering will not be there. You can't give in heaven. Whatever you give, you give now. Yes, what else? No soul winning in heaven. Okay, what you do that is only on this earth. Okay, isn't that amazing? That's why we need to focus on these things. No need of prayer. All our prayers that we prayed has been answered and we are face to face with God. There will be worship, of course. There will be revelation of God's word, of course. And that's beautiful, isn't it? And many other things. Okay, I'm not talking about heaven today, but I was just thinking, I just felt heaven when the song was going. No. That's beautiful, okay. Turn to Romans chapter 5. We'll read two verses there and then we'll read Roma, Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16. Okay, Romans chapter 5 verses 1 and 2. Therefore, having been justified by faith, 
We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 2. Through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand. How we stand? Where we stand? In grace. Okay. You are not standing on the on the floor right now. You are standing in the grace. If it's not grace, we will not be standing here and worshipping the Lord. Okay, that's what he means here. And rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Because of what happened to the grace, now in verse 16 of Hebrews 4 says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Okay, because I stand in grace, now I can come boldly through the throne of grace. Okay, so this series is going to be very powerful. Okay, I encourage you to keep coming. Okay, I don't know how long I will teach this is maybe like as God leads me. Okay. For a season we'll talk about grace. Okay, the theme for the conference is also grace. Okay, so it goes well with our series. Maybe till October, November, we'll talk about grace. Okay, so we will just root you, ground you in grace. Father, we just thank you, bless us today, and bless this portion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, in this series, we'll talk about the grace of God. And then we'll also talk about the finished work of Christ. Okay, but before that, I was just I, I want to talk about three important points. I like to put points in my messages. Okay, number one. Okay, what is grace to a believer? Okay, this is very important. What is grace to a believer? I just put it in one statement. Okay, the word grace has an indescribable depth. And, this, and it has a tremendous significance to a Christian. Okay, as believers, we would not understand the fullness of grace until we see Jesus one day face to face. Okay, what we learn about grace is very limited on this earth, but in heaven we will see the fullness of that grace. But in heaven we will see the fullness of that grace. Okay, that's why I call it, it is indescribable, it is a depth of grace and also very significant. Today a Christian stands is because of grace. Okay, number two, what grace means to God? Okay, I just put it, it represents the instrument of his unconditional love to man. For God, he sees grace and he says grace is a revelation of God's unconditional love. Okay, do we see that when we see the cross? Okay, what do you see at the cross? Like we see both the hands that are stretched for the whole mankind and it says God so loved the world. So for God it is an unconditional love. Romans 3.10 says there is none righteous not even one. Isn't that amazing that puts everybody in an even place. Okay whether you are, a, you are a very religious man or anybody Bible says we are all not qualified. None of us are righteous to get to heaven. Number two, no one deserves the divine favor of heaven. Do you believe that? None of us are qualified. We don't deserve, we don't need a 
we don't deserve to get favor of god or we need to god that we should get favor from god humne kya kiya parmeshwar ke liye ki uska anugrah mile but and act in his mercy god has chosen to do deal with all men according to his grace or unmerited favor lekin uski ichha ke anusar jo wo hame jo anugrah deta hai okay this is very important to understand the grace aur ye bahut mahatvapurna hai if you don't understand grace you really did not understand anything agar aapko anugrah nahi samjha to aapko kuch nahi samjha Are you listening? This is very important. I'm telling you, end of this message. I'm telling you, God will speak to us. Or is Anta Joy Parmeshwar? I'm saying, God will speak to us. Like amazing, like God says, no, I reveal. Like in a, in His mercy, He says, I'm going to reveal grace to every mankind unconditionally. Okay, that means that He will reveal grace to every mankind unconditionally. Like in spite of Bible says, despite the deceitfulness of our hearts in Jeremiah seventeen. Or our Jeremiah Joy, both. पाप से भरा है ओके डिसीटफुल लाइक वी थिंक इवन ऑफन फ्रॉम आवर हार्ट्स और हम बुराई सोचते हैं बट एट गॉड सेज आई एम गोइंग टू गिव ग्रेस टू दिस पर्सन क्योंकि परमेश्वर कहता है मैं अनुग्रह देता हूं इन स्पाइट ऑफ द सिकनेस ऑफ आवर हेड्स इन आइजाइया चैप्टर 1 और हमारा सर जो है एक बीमारी से बीमारी जैसा यू नो दैट आवर हेड्स आर सिक और हमारा सर बीमार है ओके डोंट गो टू न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट बट बाइबल सेज आवर हेड्स आर सिक और बाइबल कहते हैं हमारा सर बीमार है Okay, our heads are sick. Sometimes we could do some crazy things. कई बार हम बुरी चीजें कर सकते हैं. And then Genesis six five says, in spite of continual wickedness of their thoughts. और उनकी जो सोच थी वो बहुत गलत थी फिर भी. Okay, this is who we are. और ये हैं हम. Okay, our body is sick. हमारा शरीर बीमार. Our head is sick. दिमाग बीमार. Our thoughts are sick. हमारे सोच बीमार है बट स्टिल गॉड सेज आई विल पोर आउट मे अनमेरिटेड ग्रेस टू दिस पर्सन जी परमेश्वर कहते हैं मैं अपना अनुग्रह दूंगा जस्ट पॉज हियर फॉर अ मोमेंट आप रुकिए यहां पे इज इट इजी क्या है आसान है टू गिव टू ग्रेस टू समबडी बिकॉज़ आई रिसीव दिस ग्रेट ग्रेस टू माय सेल्फ किसी को अनुग्रह देना क्योंकि मुझे अनुग्रह मिला है कम ऑन टॉक टू मी देयर इज अ स्टोरी इन द बाइबल बाइबल में कहानी है ओके अ किंग फॉरगिव्स अ ह्यूज डेट फॉर अ फॉर वन पर्सन एक राजा जो एक किसी का कर्ज जो है माफ कर देता है एंड देन ही गोस टू हिज सर्वेंट एंड सेज यू डिड पे माय लिटिल डेट आई एम गोइंग टू पुट यू इन द प्रिजन और कहता है कि अगर आप मेरा कर्ज नहीं चुकाते तो मैं आपको जेल में डालूंगा बट देन जीसस पुट द स्टोरीज फॉर अस यीशु ने कहानी हमारे लिए रखी समटाइम्स ही फाइंड डिफिकल्ट टू गिव ग्रेस कई बार हम अनुग्रह नहीं दे पाते वी ओनली गिव ग्रेस टू पीपल टू होम वी लव और हम उन्हीं को अनुग्रह देते हैं जिसे हम प्रेम करते हैं ओके नॉट टू द वन हु हेल्प्स एट अस हु शाउट्स एट अस इसलिए नहीं जो हम पर चिल्लाता है या गुस्सा करता है ओके एंड गॉड सेज आई हैव पोर्ड आउट माय ग्रेस अपॉन योर लाइफ और परमेश्वर कहता है मैंने अनुग्रह आप पर डाला योर हार्ट वाज डिसीटफुल आपका हृदय जो ही बुरा था योर हेड वाज सिक का सिर बीमार था एंड योर थॉट्स वर विकेट और आपकी सोच जो है गलत थी बट गॉड सेज आई शो ग्रेस टू यू इन परमेश्वर के अंदर मैं आपको अनुग्रह देता हूं शुड आई बिलीव आई बी थैंकफुल फॉर दिस क्या विश्वासी को खुश रहना इसके लिए शुड बी ग्रेटफुल फॉर द ग्रेस ऑफ गॉड क्या उसे धन्यवाद देते रहना ओके वी सी इन द गॉस्पल्स इन द बुक ऑफ एक्ट्स एंड इज ऑल द हिस्ट्री और हम गॉस्पल और इतिहास में देखते हैं व्हाट पीपल डिड and even gave their lives for Christ aur jo logo ne kiya apne masi ke liye jo jaan diya you know why they were motivated by the grace of god kyunki wo anugrah se jo prosahit the like they said wow god you have given me grace aur wo kehte hain ki aapne mujhe anugrah diya hai i think my life needed to be for you to mera jeevan aapke liye hona chahiye that's why they went and were sold out for the gospel isliye wo log jo gaye bahar they understood what grace did to them wo samajh gaye ki anugrah ne kya kiya a person who or never understands grace will never do anything to the lord ek vishwasi agar anugrah nahi samajhta hai to parmeshwar ke liye kuch nahi karega they were also often thankful aur wo hamesha dhanyawad bhi dete i just put our life should be an outpouring of god's grace aur hamara jo jeevan jo anugrah se bharpuri hona chahiye are you with me kya aap mere sath ho this is what god did to us ye parmeshwar ne hamare sath kiya that's why to understand this grace it takes all eternity aur isliye anugrah ko samajhne pura anand chahiye okay, people say what we will do in heaven we'll take a harp and and sit in the clouds and play some songs aur log puchte hain ki hum swarg mein kya karenge hum geet lekar jo hai aag bajayenge no in heaven we will take all eternity to understand the grace of god 
और स्वर्ग में हम जो अनुग्रह समझने के लिए अनंत जीवन लेंगे नंबर टू दूसरी चीज गॉड्स ग्रेटेस्ट एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ हिज ग्रेस परमेश्वर जो है अपना अनुग्रह जो उसने और अभी वो किस तरह अनुग्रह दिखाएगा उसके बेटे के द्वारा परमेश्वर कहते हैं वो आप तब तक नहीं समझोगे जब तक आप देखोगे नहीं सो गॉड लव मैन सो ही वॉन्ट्स टू ब्रिंग मैन एंड वोमन टू इमसेल्फ और परमेश्वर प्रेम करता है मनुष्य से इसलिए वो अपने पास लाता है लेकिन मनुष्य जो है पापी और वो परमेश्वर के इसमें नहीं आ सकता कहता है कि परमेश्वर पवित्र है और वो पाप को नहीं देख सकता परमेश्वर ने अपने बेटे को दिया ताकि वो पाप का बलि चढ़ा सके। वॉट इज दुत्र ने क्या गेम टू दर्थ वो इस दुनिया में आया He was sacrificed upon the cross, and now all people have access to the throne of grace through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. उसने बलिदान किया और अभी हर कोई इसके पास जा सकता है. Everybody. हर कोई. Doesn't matter you are a Catholic, you are a, any any religion you come from. चाहे आप कोई भी धर्म से हो. You have an access to the throne of grace. आप अनुग्रह की सियांसर के पास जा सकते हो. Isn't that beautiful? Like God revealed through His Son what it graces. और परमेश्वर ने जो बताया अपने बेटे के द्वारा. Okay, cross is a symbol of grace. और जो क्रूस वो ये अनुग्रह का चिन्ह है. Cross is a symbol of grace. क्रूस जो है वो चिन्ह है अनुग्रह. Okay, whenever you want to see grace, जब भी आपको अनुग्रह देखना है. Go to the cross. क्रूस के पास जाओ. Why we have this cross here? और एक क्रूस यहाँ पे. We don't worship the cross. हम आराधना नहीं करते उसकी. But cross is a symbol of God's grace. Because we are chin me anugrah ka. So when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when someone believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes on what happened on the cross, so when somebody believes Okay, when I was a young college student, when I was not saved, or just me, you went to college, me or that new one. Okay, we used to hang uh, like in the city buses on the on the on the or on the steps of the of the city bus. Or bus me, जो ये सीढ़ियों पर खड़े रहते थे. And in 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 our home place, they have uh, okay, that's illegal. हमारे गांव में वो जो okay, we would hang and we make stunts from the bus. <laughs> I'm currently get stunned. This is your master, <laughs> and now and you just show like now and we just do all that. And I'm doing all that. And then there is a there is a team that caught us all of us, all of us students. Team ne jo hai hume pakad li. And they put us into a court, mobile court. Have you ever seen a mobile court? Have you ever seen a mobile court? Have you ever seen a mobile court? Maybe some of you know in a, in a city there is a mobile court. And my town me jo hai wo hai. Okay, it's like a bus. और एक बस है एम्प्टी बस खाली बस इट इज टर्न्ड इनटू अ कोर्ट वो कोर्ट में बदल दी गई ओके इन द एंड द कोर्ट द द जज सिट्स और एंड में जो है जज बैठता है एंड देयर इज अ लॉयर्स और लॉयर रहते हैं एंड देयर इज अ डोर पार्टीशन इन बिटवीन और एक दरवाजा रहता है एंड ऑल लाइक अस आर पुट इन दिस साइड और हम एक एक साइड में हमें रखा गया है ओके व्हाट व्हाट इज द पनिशमेंट इज वेरी फनी और जो पनिशमेंट है वो बहुत ओके दे टेक यू वो आपको लेके जाएंगे एंड द होल डे दे मेक यू राउंड द सिटी You sit there. That is the punishment. और आपको सिर्फ बैठना है वो पूरी शहर में आपको घुमाएंगे. And then they will take you at one corner of the city. और आपको एक कोने में लेके जाएंगे शहर के. And there the court you have to face the judge. तो आपको जज के पास जाना है. Okay, the police first of all you will say did you commit? You should say yes I did. और अगर वो पूछे कि आपने किया तो आपको हाँ बोलना है. Okay, and we stood before the judge and said that no, you are hanging on the bus. Yes sir. और जज ने कहा आप लटक रहे थे क्या बस में हमने हाँ बोला. You are guilty. ओके आप दोषी हो ओके एंड नो यू विल बी जज्ड इफ आई हैव मनी दैट आई कैन पे इफ यू डोंट हैव मनी ओके दे नो दैट वी नॉन ऑफ अस हैव एनी टाइम मनी ओके दे वुड ड्रॉप अस देयर और उन्हें पता था हमें पैसे नहीं है तो उन्होंने हमें छोड़ दिया वहां पे और समवेयर इन द कॉर्नर ओके समवेयर अराउंड वेरी फार फ्रॉम आवर सिटी और जो हमारे शहर से दूर है 
and, and then from there we walk down or some other way. Again, carry and take another bus somehow and reach home. Okay, this is a courtroom. I wanted to think about it. Okay, why I am saying this? Okay, when God faces us, he counts us as sinners. He says there is a price need to be paid. Okay, when, when you stand before a courtroom on this earth, and you committed something, the court says you need to pay 50,000 rupees, otherwise you will go for 10 years of jail. The man says, no, I don't have 10,000 rupees like I said many years back. So then you will go into the prison. You will be put in prison. But what happens, somebody comes and says, you know what, I am going to pay your 50,000. I will pay for him. And what happens, judge declares him free. That's what the word justified means. Okay, when we stand before the throne room of heaven, God sees us as everybody's sinners. But Jesus says, look at this blood. This blood has paid for all these people. And God says, you are declared free, you are justified. Not because of what you did, but because of this person who did it. And that person, like when we are, when we stand before God, we are thankful because we believe in Jesus. If I don't believe, I don't have justification. I will stand before him as a sinner. Like in the Old Testament, they used to apply the blood on the doorpost. When the death angel passed, wherever the home, the blood was there, that house was saved. And today when we believe Jesus indirectly, the blood of Christ is upon our lives. And that's why we are saved and taken to heaven. So, Romans chapter 5, the moment we believe, we are justified. Number 2, the second thing the court would do, after somebody pays the fees, he declares them righteous and not guilty. Okay, in the same way, God says, since you are justified, now you are declared righteous. Isn't that amazing? Like when heaven's throne, when God looks you and me, he sees us as righteous. You know what is righteous means? That means you in your life you never even committed one sin in your life. Isn't that beautiful? You were declared righteous. Declared righteous. That's what my status. I am declared righteous. And thirdly, Romans chapter 5 says, now we have peace with God. Did you ever be an enemy of God? That place you don't want to be. When we are unbelievers, we are enemies of God. Now, because of the blood of Christ, we have peace with God. Now, it is amazing. God protects us. God keeps us. God saves us. Because I have peace with God. Fourthly, he says now, we have access by faith through the throne of grace. That means I can go any time. Like any time I can go to God and ask for things. I have an access. You know what is access means? You no, know, access means I can go and take anything what I need. When you go to a mall, okay, what do you do? You have an access to take whatever you want. But in a mall you have to pay, but God says you don't have to pay anything here. You just have an access to the throne of grace. You just enter in and take it. What do you want? Lord, I need salvation for my family. Take it. I want, I want blessing in my life. Take it. 
Take it. The problem with lot of believers is they don't go to the access room. Okay, they don't want access room. They say we could do things by our own Lord. But God says, come into the access room of prayer and come and I will give it to you. Fifthly, we also have a rejoices today. We could rejoice in the glory of God. The hope of the glory of God. Our life is not here, 60, 70 years. Our life is beyond this. We have, we have an access. Because of that, we have a living hope. Amen. The third one. This is what I want to focus today. This grace was physically manifested to every man 2000 years back. Isn't that beautiful? 2000 years back when Jesus walked, he was grace. What a privilege they are, isn't it? What a privileged people they are. Jesus, you are, you are looking the grace. You cannot see in the Old Testament God and still live. But in New Testament with grace, you can talk. You can sit in the boat with Him. You could eat with Him. You could fellowship with Him. But 2000 years later, you would say, Oh, I am not privileged. I want to give you a verse to you. John 20 verse 29. Jesus said to them. To Thomas. Thomas said. You touched me, you believed me. The greater are those who have not seen me yet believe. Mahan wo hai jisne mujhe dekha nahi lekin vishwas karte. Not the people in 2000 years back. Greater are those. Aur wo log jo mahan hai. They didn't see me physically. Unhone mujhe shaaririk taur pe nahi dekha. But they believe. Lekin vishwas that is you and me. Ye main aur aap hai. Isn't that beautiful? Today we have greater things. I'll bring it in the message. Aur aaj jo mahan cheeze hai. Today I want to focus on this part when Jesus walked on the earth. Aur jab Yeshu Masih chala us par aaj batana hai. They saw grace. Unhone anugrah dekha. And they were drawn to grace. Aur wo anugrah ke paas chale. They were drawn to grace. Uske paas hai. Because grace was very attractive. What draws people into our churches? Aur kya logo ko church mein laata hai? What draws people to come to you and talk about God? Grace. 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 They were dry. I just took four illustrations. Okay, and I'm just going to bring that and bring the application to us. Okay. Number one, they were drawn towards his countenance. Okay, Isaiah 53 talks about his countenance is not being so good. But for me, I, I believe the context is at the cross. If God could make you and me so beautiful, I believe his son would be much beautiful. Okay, his countenance, people were drawn by his countenance. I was thinking about Jack Zacchaeus in Luke chapter 19. Zacchaeus was a sinner and of course like anybody else. The problem with Zacchaeus was he thought he was very religious. And but he also need in his heart there is an emptiness in his heart that he needs God. So he says like he heard that God Jesus this grace is walking into his city. He being a short man, he climbs up on the tree. Remember, his goal was to just have a glimpse of him. Okay, I'll see him and I'll get back to my work of cheating people. That's all I wanted to do. So as he stood on the sycamore tree, and as he stood on the tree, we were there in Israel and we saw the tree where, where, where Zacchaeus climbed. And it's amazing to see that. 
Sycamore tree has a lot of leaves. और उस पेड़ पर जो है बहुत सारे पत्ते रहते हैं. It's impossible to see anybody sitting on the sycamore tree. और किसी को भी आप देख नहीं सकते अगर ऊपर बैठा है. And the worm also can be hidden from the people. और वो छुप सकता है उस पेड़ में. So when Zacchaeus climbed, like nobody could see him. और जब Zacchaeus चढ़ा तो कोई उसे देख नहीं सकता था. And same with okay, he couldn't be visible to anybody else. और लोग भी उसे नहीं देख सकते. Isn't that amazing? But he catches the glimpse of the countenance of Jesus. ये सिर्फ उसने यीशु के चेहरे को देखा. And Jesus sees him. और यीशु मसीह ने भी उसे देखा. And the story changed. और फिर कहानी बदली. Like countenance of God changed the people's life, and they were drawn to. और उसके चेहरे को देखकर वो लोग खींचे चले आए. I don't know the small story. When I get to heaven, I'll meet Zacchaeus, and he will tell me what happened. और मैं स्वर्ग में जाकर से मिलूँगा और पूछूँगा. What happened to you? और क्या हुआ? And I believe would have a big story. और उसके बाद बड़ी कहानी. Pastor Kishor, I want to tell you, 2000 years when Jesus came into that scene. पासे मुझे बोलना है 2000 साल पहले जब यीशु मसीह आया. I had no intention to believe upon him. मेरा मकसद नहीं था कि मैं इस पर विश्वास करूं. I just stood to see who's this guy that people are talking about. और मैंने सोचा कि कौन है ये व्यक्ति. And then I just went up on that tree. I saw that moment. I believed. और फिर मैंने उसे देखा और विश्वास किया. That's all. It's over. Rest is the history. और बाकी इतिहास है. That moment was amazing. और वो शर्ण अलग था. So first thing the grace walked in was his countenance. और अनुग्रह जब वो चला तो उसका चेहरा था. Number two, people were drawn by his words. और उसके शब्द से खींचे चले आए. Jesus spoke grace words. यीशु मसीह ने अनुग्रह के शब्द कहा. Is that amazing? He spoke grace words. इसलिए अनुग्रह की शब्द. The centurion said, "Lord, you don't come into my home. It's too far for you to walk." लेकिन ने कहा कि आप मत आओ मेरे घर दूर हैं. Just say a word, and my servant will be healed. सिर्फ एक वचन कहो और वो चंगाई पाएगा. Words are powerful, isn't it? Jesus said, "The heaven and hell will be passed away. Heaven and earth will be passed away in Matthew chapter 24." But my words will be for ever and ever and ever. Yeshu ni ka swat aur bhithu chala jayegi, lekin mera shabd nahi jayega. Roman century in Matthew chapter 8 says, you don't need to come, just say a word. Vekti ni ka ki aap aao mat si pachha. People are drawn by his words. Log uske shabd se khiche chal gaya. Thirdly, tisri chiz. This is where I like this. They were also drawn by miracles. Wo chamatkar ki galiye jo khiche chal gaya. It's not beautiful when you think about the stories of miracles in the Bible. They were very unique. They were not like what we see today of all the TV evangelists saying falling down miracles, shaking your coat, shaking your pants, shaking your head, shaking your cap. No, all this, that's nonsense. But Jesus' miracles had a significance that he is the Messiah. लेकिन यीशु मसीह का जो एक मकसद था कि वो मसीह है। Okay, I will take to a story in Luke chapter eight of a woman who who touched the hem of the garment. और हम सीधे लुक का आंख में जिस व्यक्ति ने उसके कपड़े छुआ। Why did she touch? क्यों उसने छुआ? Anybody? Yes, Jit. She had it some problem. She had it like she was in. But there were a lot of prophets during that time. She could touch any prophet's hem of the garment. और वो किसी भी व्यक्ति को छू सकती थी आज को. Yes, Kiran. Because she read the Old Testament. Which verse? Maybe Isaiah. No. Okay, I'll come back to you. Good. Okay, you were somewhere close, but not very close. You need to read more Bible now. I'm just joking. Okay, Numbers chapter fifteen. God told the nation of Israel. और यीशु मसीह परमेश्वर ने इजराइल के लोगों से कहा अगेन नंबर्स 15 दैट गिनती 15 में अगेन ऑल योर क्लोथ्स शुड हैव फोर कॉर्नर्स और आपके कपड़ों में चार कोने होने चाहिए अगेन लाइक टैसल्स जो टैसल्स कहलाते हैं अगेन दे ऑन 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 योर कॉर्नर्स ऑफ एवरी गार्मेंट और हर एक कोने में आपको लगता है इफ यू वेयर अ शर्ट दे शुड बी फोर कॉर्नर्स ओके आई एम एम्बेरेसिंग द लुक नो एंड 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 थ्रूआउट जनरेशंस यू शुड डू दिस और पूरे आपको इतिहास में करें। Okay, whenever you walk, जब भी आप चलो, the tassels will touch your hands. तो जो tassels हैं वो आपके हाथ को छुएंगे। Okay, when you're eating food, the tassels will be around hanging. और खाते समय भी वो लटके रहेंगे। Okay, that is a reminder for you to remember the Lord's commandments. और आपको ये परमिशन की आज्ञा याद करनी है। And remember the ten commandments and so that you would obey them. और ताकि आप वो आज्ञाओं को मान सको। 
praise and God wants us to have a reminder परमेश्वर चाहता है कि हम याद करें एंड यू विल डू इट फॉर ऑल जनरेशंस और पूरे राज्य के लिए करेगा सो एज इयर्स पास्ड द द पीपल थॉट इट्स सो एम्बेरेसिंग टू हैव फोर कॉर्नर्स एंड फोर फोर टैसल्स अराउंड इट और जैसे साल बीतता गया लोग कहने लगे कि ये बहुत अजीब है ओके द स्टाइल हैज चेंजड और अब स्टाइल चेंज हो गया ओके एंड दे मेड अ शॉल इट्स कॉल्ड अ प्रेयर शॉल अ टैलेंट इन द इन द हिब्रू अभी उन्होंने जो एक शॉल बनाई जिसका नाम तालिम था ओके एंड दे आल्सो इन द टैलेंट आल्सो देयर वुड बी लिटिल नॉट्स ओके डिड यू एवर सीन अ शॉल विद लिटिल नॉट्स डाउन हैंगिंग उसमें जो गांठ लगी रहेगी ओके दैट इज आल्सो हैज स्क्रिप्चर्स इंस्क्राइब्ड इन इट और उसमें जो वचन ना थे ओके व्हेन वी वेयर इन इजराइल वी सॉ लॉट ऑफ जूश पीपल हैविंग दोस टॉवल्स और वो यहूदी लोग जो है आज भी वो जो है पहनते हैं ओके बिफोर ही पुट्स ऑन द टॉवल इट्स वेरी रिलीजियस अमेजिंग हाउ दे डू इट ओके इट सेज ही वुड फर्स्ट किस द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ड और अभी वो पहले ही जो है शब्द को वो चुमा हां द शॉल ओके इट्स ओके एंड देन द द डाउन पार्ट द लास्ट वर्ड अगेन ही किसेस और फिर आखिरी शब्द को भी वो चुमेगा एंड देन ही प्लेसेस अपॉन हिज हेड और फिर वो अपने सर पर रखेगा एंड देन ही गोस इनटू अ डीप प्रेयर और अभी वो गहरी प्रार्थना में जाएगा सो व्हेन जीसस सेड इन मैथ्यू चैप्टर 6 गो इनटू योर रूम अलोन एंड प्रे जीसस वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेम थिंग और यीशु ने कहा अपने रूम में जाकर प्रे करो पुट योर शॉल एंड गो इनटू अ डीप प्रेयर which is only you and your god the father aur prarthna mein jao ka keval aap aur parmeshwar this woman was a jewish woman ye vyakti stri jo hai yehudi she has been coming to synagogue for many 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 years wo mandir mein bahut saalon se aa rahi thi she is not just coming to just for enjoy life and go away aur wo keval aanand mein she has a problem she also knows the scriptures usse vachan bhi pata tha There is one more scripture that she also knows of Malachi chapter four verse two. A Malachi chapter two, उसे पता था. Where it says, when the Messiah will come, there will be healing on his wings. और मसीह आएगा तो उसके पंखों में जो एक चमन चंगाल. So when Jesus walked, he had a shawl upon him, and and he had tassels upon him, and it says the Jews believe when the Messiah walks in, when they touch it. that there would be here or yehudi log vishwas karte the masiha chalega usse chhuenge to no matter when i read the story this woman is a doctrinal woman aur ye stree jo hai ka vachan is not the hallelujah praise the lord kind of crowd aur wo aise stree nahi thi she knows the scriptures usse vachan pata she knows to pray biblically usse prarthna karna pata tha you know what she said all these years i've been praying that the messiah would heal me और इतने साल में प्रार्थना कर रही थी कि मसीहा मुझे चंगाई देगा एंड नाउ आई सी द ग्रेस द मसीहा इज वॉकिंग इन द मिक्स और अभी मैं अनुग्रह देख रही हूं वो चल रहा है एंड आई रिमेंबर मालाकी चैप्टर 4 वर्स 2 और मुझे मालाकी 4 तो याद है आई एम गोइंग टू टच हिज हेम ऑफ द गार्मेंट मैं उसके कपड़े को छू लूंगी बाइबल सेज जीसस सेड इन द मिड्स ऑफ द क्राउड द पावर लेफ्ट यीशु ने कहा कि उस भीड़ में सामर्थ्य निकला People were touched by the miracles. लोग जो छू गए उससे. I like that, isn't it? The blind man shouted. और ये अंधे व्यक्ति ने चिल्लाया. Remember, blind man also knew the scriptures. और अंधे व्यक्ति को भी वचन पता. He is a heal me, heal me, heal me. और उसने ये नहीं कहा कि वचन. What did he say? Anybody remembers? और उसने कहा क्या कहा? Son of David. Son of David. और दाऊद का पुत्र. What did this means? You are the Messiah. अब मसीह हो. In the Messiah comes in Isaiah chapter thirty-four and Isaiah chapter sixty-six. He would come and heal the blind, raise the dead, heal the lepers. And the Messiah will come and do the miracles. Oh, son of David, Daud's son, you are the Messiah. 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 Jesus was representing to the nation of Israel, Israel that he is the Messiah. Yeshu was telling the people of Israel that he is the Messiah. They were drawn towards his miracles. Who was charmed by his pictures? And fourthly, they were also drawn towards a living hope. And who lived with hope? In John chapter four, the woman at the Samaritan woman at the well. And who Samri istri jo koi ke baad she had no more hope in her life. Uske baad koi aasha nahi thi. But she met the living hope. लेकिन वो जीवित महिमा मिली उससे. जीवित आशा. जीवित आशा. She got a living hope. उसे जीवित आशा मिली. Her life changed. और उसका जीवन बदला. Isn't that beautiful? Like we are drawn when the grace comes, people are drawn towards. जब अनुग्रह आता है तो लोग खींचे चले आते. I want to close with these thoughts. 
मुझे बंद करना है ये अपलोड कर लो एप्लीकेशन मैं आपको सिद्धांत दूंगा टुडे वी हैव नो फिजिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ क्राइस्ट इन आवर लाइफ्स और आज हम मसीह को शरीर रूप में नहीं देख सकते बट वी हैव समथिंग बेटर लेकिन उससे कुछ बेहतर समथिंग ग्रेटर ग्रेटर आर द वन महान हैज नॉट सीन एट बिलीव महान वो है जिसने देखा नहीं लेकिन विश्वास किया बाइबल सेज इन सेकंड कोरिंथियंस 5:17 Bible के तहत दूसरा कुरिंथियों पांच से अपना मोमेंट यू बिलीव इन जीसस यू आर अ न्यू क्रिएशन जिस वक्त आप विश्वास करते हो इसी पे आप नई रचना हो न्यू क्रिएशन बिहोल्ड ऑल ओल्ड थिंग्स है पास्ट अवे पुरानी चीजें व्हाट आर माय ओल्ड थिंग्स पुरानी चीजें क्या देयर मेनी ओल्ड थिंग्स आई हैव बहुत सारी चीजें माय ओल्ड लस्ट माय ओल्ड डिजायर्स माय ओल्ड एंबिशंस ऑल ऑफ गॉड द मोमेंट आई पुट माय फेथ इन जीसस क्राइस्ट I become a new creation in Christ. मेरी पुरानी इच्छा और मैं विश्वास I don't get angry like the old man. मैं गुस्सा नहीं होता. I don't get upset like the old man. I don't rob like the old man. मैं चोरी नहीं करता. No, I I don't covet like the old man. पुराने I don't lust like the old man. I don't commit adultery like the old man. I am a new creation in Christ. और मैं नई रचना हूँ मसीह में. I'm a new person. मैं नया व्यक्ति हूँ. I always tell people your life is watched. और मैं लोगों को कहता हूँ लोग आपको देख रहे हैं. Do you believe me? क्या विश्वास करते हो? When you are on the street, when you are meeting a bajji wala, people are watching you. जब आप एक बाजी वाले को मिलते हैं तो आपको देखते हैं. And you are, and I, these are your spectators. Your unsaved family is watching you. और आप जो जिनका उधार ने हुआ है वो आपको देख रहे हैं. No, is my life is a new creation. और क्या मेरा जीवन नया है? My office, when I go to office, they are watching my life. और जब मैं काम पे जाता हूँ तो वो मुझे देख रहे हैं. Angels are watching my life. स्वर्ग तो देख रहे हैं. They will think, my God, this this person grace has been given. Okay. He has any value for that grace? Okay. तो इससे अनुग्रह मिला क्या उसको कीमत है उसकी? God is watching my life. परमेश्वर देख. By the way, Psalm 34 says we have two angels. और बच्चे से एक. Forget about the host of angels watching. Two of them are just right next to. और दो स्वर्ग तो हमारे बाजू में हैं. Imagine. So the Jesus. Holy Spirit is watching. Oh, it's right, man. He is invisible. What can you do? You think you can escape anything? Can 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 you think you can escape anything? लेकिन कोई तो देख रहा है हमें। Okay, people, we have a new creation. और हम नई रचना हैं। That's what happened at salvation. और ये उधार के समय हुआ। Number two, दूसरा, we have the Holy Spirit indwelling in each one of us in Acts chapter two verse thirty. और इतना आत्मा हमारे अंदर है प्रेरित तो दो पैंतीस। Do you believe in Jesus Christ? क्या विश्वास करते हो यीशु पे? You have the indwelling Holy Spirit in you. और वो इतना आत्मा आपके अंदर रहता है। Thirdly, because of the Holy Spirit. Our body becomes a temple of the Holy Spirit. First, first Corinthians six nineteen. और इतना आत्मा के जिससे हमारा शरीर जो एक मंदिर बनता है. Wow. What is the mandir? Mandir of grace. और वो अनुग्रह का मंदिर. And fourthly, John nine verse three says, "We are the manifestation of God to this world." और हम परमेश्वर को जो बताते हैं हमारे जीवन के द्वारा. That means I am. A walking grace. और मैं चलता हूँ अनुग्रह। I am. Don't you never and said I am a walking grace. और मैं चलने वाला अनुग्रह। You know what that means? और इसका क्या मतलब है? When people were drawn towards Jesus, could be drawn to our lives. और जब यीशु में ऐसे के पास लोग चले आए, तो आपके पास भी आ सकते हैं। Can that happen? वो क्या हो सकता है? Yes. हाँ. People are drawn towards our countenance. और लोग हमारे चेहरे की तरफ खींच रहे हैं। Am I always grumpy at my face? और क्या मैं हमेशा उदास हूँ? You know the seven dwarfs? Anybody saw that movie? Little kids. I mean that's my favorite one. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Snow White. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And that there's one fellow called Grumpy. And he's always grumpy. और हमेशा नाराज, दुखी रहता है। It's very sad to be honest. There are lot of Christians are grumpy. और बहुत सारे विश्वासी जो हैं ऐसे हो जाते हैं। They are also very moody. वो बावनाई रहते हैं उनके मुंह में। Moody, moody. Okay. 
Today you speak one hour before they are all like powerful. They are like on they are on the throne room of grace. और आज एक घंटा सुनकर मुझे अनुग्रह के सियासन के पास जाएं. And next moment, half an hour later, you call them. They are in a different territory. और आधे घंटे बाद आप कॉल करेंगे तो दूसरे राज्य में. Moods, mood में रहते हैं. I'm on fire today, Lord. Tomorrow, no. मैं आज आठ पे हूँ कल नहीं. My countenance is important. और मेरा चेहरा जो इसमें कैसे वे आर गोइंग इन अ सेकंड क्लास टिकट टू बैंड्रा और हम बैंड्रा में जा रहे थे सेकंड क्लास टिकट अबाउट 65 70 इयर्स और एक दंपति था 60 70 साल का के दे हैव अ हाउस इन बैंड्रा दे हैव अ हाउस इन बोरवेली एंड वी वर जस्ट सिटिंग इन फेस टू फेस विद देम और हम उनके सामने बैठे थे वी डोंट नो व्हाट टोल देम टू टॉक टू अस दे जस्ट स्टार्टेड टॉकिंग टू और वो हमसे बात कर रहे थे दे जस्ट टॉकिंग टू अस एंड यू नो दे सेड प्रेज द लॉर्ड and i said they the wife said you are a believer we didn't tell them anything aur humne unhe nahi bataya ki hum vishwasi hain unhone bhi said you are a born again we didn't even utter anything unhone kaha ki aap to udhar hue i have one more person next to me as a witness and then they went on to tell the whole story they have a son they have a daughter they have three homes they have he's also carrying sarpathail with him no and he was telling everything and there was so much of joy By the time we reached Pan, it didn't look like we even travelled. और जब हम पैंड्रा पहुँचे तो लगा ही नहीं समय कब किया. Can people have that kind of conversations when Jesus was on the earth? They had conversations with Jesus. और जीवन मस्ती के साथ लोग बात करते. Because they had a countenance of joy in their faces. क्योंकि उनका चेहरा जो है. This week we had our neighbour whose son was sick for him. Always he falls sick. And they came to us and said, "Can you pray for my son?" And our producer said, "Can you pray for my son?" And then we had a Tuesday night prayer. We prayed for them after Tuesday night, Tuesday night prayer. We went to their home and we shared the gospel once again. And other neighbor also joined us. Who four of our neighbors we shared the gospel. And we four victims say, "Our producer said, 'Who we should pray for.'" Can you imagine this? Yes, we can. And we prayed for him. Next day, I asked him, "How is your child?" He said, "My baby is much better than ever." I have been praying for him. On the second day, he was very well. You know what? My countenance is important. It is my face. I have a joyful face. Yeah, my face is a joyful face. Okay, every moment of my life, I could have joy of the Lord. And every moment, I mean, no matter what happens in my life, because I have Christ in me, I could have joy in my life. Sir, if anything happens in my life, and I have Christ in me, I could have joy in my life. Number two. दूसरा, how are my words in my mouth? और मेरे शब्द कैसे? Are they grace words? क्या वो अनुग्रह से बन रहे? Doesn't matter a person is believer or unbeliever. Am I speaking to that person in grace? और क्या मैं व्यक्ति से जो बारे विश्वासी हो या ना हो, मैं अनुग्रह से बात कर रहा हूँ? You are watched. आपको देखा जाए? People are watching you and they are going to draw towards grace because of your life and my life. और वो अनुग्रह के पास आ सकते हैं आपके और मेरे जीवन के द्वार Is my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? क्या मेरा शरीर पवित्र आत्मा है? As a believer, am I going to the bar rooms? As a believer, I am going to these places and represent. Say, am I a Christian? But I drink. और क्या मैं ऐसा करूँ कि मैं विश्वासी हूँ लेकिन मैं ये पी रहा हूँ? What testimony that they will have to believe in Jesus Christ? और क्या कवायद होगी उनको विश्वास करने? I am a believer, but I am hanging around with ladies. और मैं विश्वासी हूँ लेकिन मैं घूम रहा हूँ. My testimony is spoiled. मेरा कवायद खराब हुई है. I am a believer. I am a believer. I rob. I cheat. I am a cheater. I say something very wrong. I am a cheater. I fight like an unbeliever. Do you think anybody wants to believe in you? I am a believer. I am a cheater. I fight like an unbeliever. Do you think anybody wants to believe in you? I am a believer. I am a cheater. I fight like an unbeliever. Do you think anybody wants to believe in you? I am a believer. I am a cheater. I fight like an unbeliever. Do you think anybody wants to believe in you? I am a believer. I am a cheater. I fight like an unbeliever. Do you think anybody wants to believe in you? I am a believer. I am a cheater. I fight like an unbeliever. Do you think anybody wants to believe in you? I am a believer. I am a cheater. I fight like an unbeliever. Do you think anybody wants to believe in you? I am a believer. I am a cheater. I fight like an unbeliever. My neighbors are watching my life. My owners are watching. My neighbors, my my tenants are watching. They watch our lives. Who they are? Our life. The other day, the other day, one one of my neighbors scratched my car. Or one day, 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 one And the next day, he scratched my car. He is drunk and he scratched my car. And the whole society said, "You should go after him." And the society said, "You should go after him." I said, "No." I said, "No." I can repair that. 
मैं रिपेयर कर सकता हूँ लेकिन अगर मैं गुस्सा हो जाऊँ तो उनको सुन समाचार नहीं दे पाऊंगे कि उस व्यक्ति को हम खोना नहीं चाहिए जो आनंद के लिए आ सकता है मेरे शब्द महत्वपूर्ण और क्या लोग प्रार्थना का जीवन देखते मेरे अंदर वेन यू टॉक टू पीपल यू कुड से लाइक गॉड आंसर्स प्रेयर्स और जब आप लोगों को कहते हो कि परमेश्वर उत्तर देता है प्रार्थना डू यू एवर टॉक अबाउट इट क्या बोलते हो डिड डिड गॉड आंसर प्रेयर्स इन योर लाइफ डू यू हैव अ टेस्टिमनी टू शेयर अबाउट गॉड्स आंसर टू प्रेयर्स क्या आपके पास गवाही है उत्तर इफ यू डोंट हैव नन द प्रॉब्लम इज यू कैन नॉट प्रे फॉर एनीबॉडी एल्स और अगर नहीं तो आप किसी के लिए प्रार्थना नहीं कर सकते Anything should experience first in my life. और पहले खुद को अनुभव करना है. My life is a life of prayer. और मेरा जीवन जो है. People are watching. लोग देख रहे हैं. Like the neighbors, they didn't ask me tell me about Jesus, but they said, can you pray for us? और पड़ोसी ने कहा कि आप क्या प्रार्थना करो. Because they hear every Tuesday somebody praying in our house. क्योंकि वो हर मंगलवार देखते हैं कोई तो प्रार्थना कर रहा है. I wondered why my door is not locking properly. You know the reason is God wanted to keep it in open so that they could hear our prayers. हम ने सोचा था मेरा दरवाजा लॉक क्यों नहीं होता क्योंकि किसी को तो सुनना है उनका. God yes, people are watching. लोग देख रहे. Wow, they are also see our hope in Christ. वो हमारे आशा को देखते हैं मसीह. Sometimes believe a small small trial they they become like an unbelievers. और कई बार कुछ परेशानी आती अविश्वासी अविश्वासी. Oh I don't have money in my pocket. पैसे नहीं है. No, be fasting for some time. और अब fast करो. It's okay. You'll not die for forty years, forty days for sure. अब चालीस दिन मरोगे नहीं. Come on, let's not be silly. I don't have a job. और काम नहीं. Go and see the government data. How many people who are educated and don't have jobs? और कितने लोग पढ़े लिखे लेकिन काम नहीं. I met a rickshaw guy who's done his MBA. रिक्शा वाले को मिला जिसने एमडी किया अरे भाई आप क्या कर रहे हैं ये स्टॉकिंग इन इंग्लिश टू मी और वो इंग्लिश में बात कर सर आई एम एन एजुकेटेड मैन आई डिड माय एमबीए बट आई डोंट हैव अ जॉब सो आई टुक अप द रिक्शा उसने कहा मेरे पास काम नहीं है एमबीए किया लेकिन फिर मैं अभी यू हैव समथिंग दैट यू आर डूइंग एंड दैट समथिंग कुड ब्रिंग यू फूड ऑन योर टेबल यू शुड बी थैंक और अगर आप कुछ करके अपने वी हैव अ लिविंग होप और जीवित आशा है Every month salary comes into your account. You should be thankful for that. और हर एक महीने salary आती है आपको खुश हो. There are millions of people in India never seen a salary check or salary credit into their accounts. इतने लोग हैं जिन्होंने salary check या account में नहीं आया उनको महीने में. You should be thankful. आपको धन्यवाद ही तेरे. We have a living hope. We will mm-hmm. see who is this man. Like he has whatever happens in his life, he has a hope that is beyond natural. और व्यक्ति को बोलने कि इसके पास क्या है ऐसा कुछ नहीं था सो अमेजिंग यू नो व्हाट व्हेन दे सॉ ग्रेस और जब उन्होंने अनुग्रह देखा एंड दे सॉ ग्रेस और उन्होंने अनुग्रह देखा व्हेन दे सॉ यू जब उन्होंने आपको देखा एंड दे सॉ अपर्णा व्हेन दे सॉ आयशी व्हेन दे सॉ रिची व्हेन दे सॉ रिनी दे वर ड्रॉन टुवर्ड्स ग्रेस और वो खींचे चले आए अनुग्रह की तरफ दे आर नॉट ड्रॉन टू एनीबॉडी अ पर्सनली और वो किसी व्यक्ति के पास नहीं दे वर ड्रॉन लेकिन अनुग्रह के पास दिस इज व्हाट ग्रेस इज और ये अनुग्रह है दिस इज व्हाट ग्रेस टू डू एंड ग्रेस इज मैनिफेस्टेड टू आवर लाइफ्स टुडे और ये अनुग्रह जो है कर सकता है ग्रेटर आर दोस आर नॉट सीन एंड बिलीव महान वो है जिन्होंने देखा नहीं लेकिन विश्वास किया द वुमन एट द समारिटन नाउ यू डोंट हैव टू वर्शिप इन दिस टेंपल एंड दैट टेंपल टुडे एनीबॉडी हु बिलीव्स दे बिकम द टेंपल ऑफ द होली स्पिरिट और अभी आपको यहां वहां आराधना करना नहीं लेकिन उसको देखा है The moment you don't have to wait for the Holy Spirit to come in Acts chapter two. Or at two. Today we have an indwelling Holy Spirit in Acts chapter two. Or मारे अंदर जो पवित्र आत्मा जो है यहाँ. The moment you believe in Jesus Christ. जिस वक्त आप विश्वास करते हैं. So we are a living epistle of grace. So हम लिखे भी पत्री हैं. And people saw grace and they were drawn to grace. और लोगों ने अनुग्रह देखा और उसके पास खींचे चल गए. Amen. Amen. And man, let's close in prayer. Father, we just thank you, thank you for this beautiful grace message. Thank you for speaking to us today. Thank you for the grace that you imparted to us, Lord. We thank you. We worship you, Lord. Help us be our lives be a 
testimony of grace that we reveal who you are to this world which do not see grace yet. But the only way that they could see grace is through our lives, Father. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for who you are today. Bless our time today. Our fellowship wrap a few minutes. Is anybody who never believed in Jesus can put their faith in Jesus right now? They can say, just Jesus, I believe in you. As my personal Savior, come into my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for salvation this week. All we worship you, Lord. It takes all eternity to understand the best grace of God. Help us to fathom this thought today. And help us to be men and women who grow in the grace of God. It was a blessed week this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.